In this eight-part weightless series, we want to show you, in detail, including the science and the protocols, how to take all this ugly, unwanted belly fat and go from this to this in as little as five weeks. So our next video in this series is all about anti-aging. What was that? Young man, speak up. And how to... Reverse the clock. Many people assume anti-aging is all about kale smoothies, yoga, spa days, getting your skin pampered, anything to make you look younger. There is much more to anti-aging than just that. Introducing Club Mitochondria. In the first five videos of this series, we've shown you how to get from this to this in as little as five weeks. We're confident there's one big element missing here. Ask yourself, do you want to lose weight, build muscle, look better, move better? But why? Because you want to be healthier. Because you want to be proud of your progress and feel really comfortable in your own skin. Because you will feel better as a result. Dare we say, because it will give you the confidence to do things you would have never attempted before, or even to impress someone. There's a reason you don't want to be overweight and uncomfortable. And whatever that reason is, we encourage it. So, what's missing? Age. See, if your idea of fitness is to look better, live healthier, and possibly even live longer, then the idea of aging itself becomes an uncomfortable reality. As you age, your hair gets whiter. <laughs> that is, if you have any hair left. Your skin gets age spots and wrinkles. Your eyesight deteriorates. And it may have crossed your mind. Why you? What have you done wrong? Besides aging, how can the teenagers next door eat burgers and drink sugary drinks with little to no impact on their weight? Lastly, the freedom of movement becomes restricted as you age. You hear the words like arthritis being thrown around. You become less energetic and aches and pains are just a normal part of life. You know you've reached a certain age. Your left and right knee? Nah, <laughs> more like your good knee and your bad knee. It's easy to blame things on getting older, but what if we could show you a way to live longer and healthier? Preventing fine lines and wrinkles. Even reverse grey hair with science. It's essential to a successful body transformation that you consider not just how much fat and muscle you have, but also your energy levels, your skin, your eyes, cell integrity, and everything that makes you, you. Now, anti-aging is a huge subject. Huge! And we do cover it in detail, including the science and the protocols in Club Mitochondria. Here's what we'll cover in this video. Free radicals and antioxidants. What are they? and their role in the ageing process. We are also going to talk all things mitochondria and a little coenzyme that changes everything. Finally, we are going to show you how to reverse the clock and make things like building muscle and losing fat less of a struggle. Remember that? What was that? Who are you? Ready to reverse the clock? Top, top, let us go! <laughs> When it comes to the process of aging, one word springs to mind, oxidation. And it's an incredibly confusing term. This has to do with structural damage to atoms. And this is what free radicals are all about. A free radical is any atom, either on its own or as part of a larger molecule, that has an electron missing, driving it to steal an electron from somewhere else. You might say a free radical is an electron thief. Take oxygen, for example. It has an atomic number of eight on the periodic table, with eight protons in its core, all with a positive or plus charge. It's then circled by two more electrons carrying a negative charge in the inner circle, and ideally six more on the outer circle. Plus eight and minus eight means zero, and that's neutral. If you have an electron missing, say five instead of six, the oxygen will suddenly have a positive charge, making it reactive. This is what we call a free radical and in the common case of oxygen, reactive oxygen species. The positively charged oxygen will always look to neutralize its charge 
And the only way to do this is to steal an electron from somewhere else. Where? It could be a cell membrane. It could be a protein like collagen. It could be the mitochondria. It could even be your DNA. This is what we mean by oxidative damage, resulting in mitochondrial damage, DNA damage, and deterioration of collagen, amongst other things. There are different types of free radicals, and some of the most common ones involve oxygen. So much so that if you have a lot of free radicals, we say you have a lot of oxidative stress, causing a lot of oxidative damage. And the process of stealing an electron from somewhere else is called oxidation. So, what's an antioxidant? An antioxidant is the opposite in that it has a spare electron to donate. That's why antioxidants reduce the oxidative stress. If a free radical is let loose in the body, it will try and steal an electron for wherever it can find it, causing damage. If it's made by an antioxidant, the antioxidant will donate its spare electron, neutralizing the offending free radical and resetting its charge back to zero. One of the reasons the term oxidation is so confusing is because not all free radicals are based on oxygen. And oxygen itself can have a positive, negative or neutral charge. In other words, oxygen can be a free radical as well as an antioxidant. We are going to stick with oxygen as a primary example. We're exposed to many sources of free radicals and antioxidants. In nutrition, toxins in processed foods often have a positive charge, while nutrients like alpha-lipoic acid, quercetin, vitamin C and vitamin E are popular because of their negative charge. In our immediate environment, air, which includes a lot of oxygen, can often become deactive. This is common in indoor environments and polluted cities. Pollution particles in the air usually have a positive charge themselves, and the air you breathe is pumped into your blood through your lungs, delivering free radicals to every cell and every tissue in your body. Natural environments like forests, rivers, and the sea are the opposite, making their oxygen negatively charged, like antioxidants. This is, by the way, what we call ionized air, and it's part of the reason it feels so good to breathe in mountain air, go for a hike, or spend some time by the sea. The same is true for water. Just like air, water is present in every cell of your body. And just like the air you breathe, H2O can hold a neutral, negative, or positive charge, something we measure as ORP. This is a bit like pH levels, which measure hydrogen ions, which is where the concept of alkaline water comes from. Both bottled or tap water have a positive ORP, meaning they add to oxidative stress, while water from a flowing river or a dedicated water ionizer have a negative ORP. Meaning they reduce oxidative stress. The water itself can be an antioxidant. There are plenty of other examples, the Earth is loaded with electrons, and grounding yourself has a similar effect to getting antioxidants. EMFs from your cell phone, your microwave, or even your Wi-Fi also create free radicals, as too do chemicals found in cleaning products all around your home, including flame-retardant coatings on your furniture. Not to mention UVA rays from the sun, mental stress, smoking, and even exercise itself. Ever notice how marathon runners tend to look a lot older than they should? Or how smokers, CEOs or presidents find they go grey a lot faster? A very well-known free radical is called hydrogen peroxide and it's produced in the body. When it reaches the hair, it damages the melanin cells which give hair its colour. Luckily, antioxidants like catalase can stop hydrogen peroxide and stop you from going grey. What about aging skin as you get older? Are you a smoker? Or do you spend a lot of time in the sun? Two very easy targets for free radicals are elastin and collagen, two proteins found between cells. They give skin structure and elasticity on the epidermis. Damage to these over time will cause fine lines and wrinkles. These two easy target proteins provide soft tissue structure too allowing your muscles to function. You can prevent it to a large degree by making sure your oxidative stress is low. You can also help the body repair and create new collagen, whether you do it through exercise, nutrition, or even fancy gadgets. You may be surprised to learn that while oxidative stress from free radicals is the primary driver for aging, it's not the only factor. Four important factors we won't cover here, but are covered in the program are NAD, telomere length, your spine and your joints. 
But one very interesting point that we will explain is what happens to your mitochondria and energy production as you age. And no, we still don't mean calories. You may have heard the term ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This is what your body uses all over for energy production. The energy to contract muscles, to breathe, to pass on neural signals. Everything in the body uses ATP. Not only that, ATP is required to keep cells alive. And you can imagine what happens to cells that don't produce enough energy to simply sustain themselves. They die. ATP is created in the mitochondria. That same mitochondria that makes up to 8% of skeletal muscle volume and where fatty acids are burnt, a process we call backburning. One of the biggest signs of aging is a sharp decline in ATP and a sharp decline in healthy mitochondria. This is the primary reason that as you age, you can't burn fat and build muscle with ease. This is also the root cause for brain health deterioration and of course, having less energy in general. Most people who don't understand this label it under the term metabolism, believing that it just slows as you age and that it's something to do with calories or that you can speed it up by eating spicy foods. Melody, be careful! That's hot chili, what are you doing? All right, Bridget, I'm spinning my metabolism loop. Apparently, it's the new way to burn calories. It's called thermogenics or something. Ooh, wait, I've got a nasty one brewing. Go change your neck, guys. First, it's good to point out it's not all doom and gloom and not all is lost. You can create new healthy mitochondria and boost ATP production in the body. We have a protocol designed to help you with this within our program. You can find it under the base protocol and mitochondrial biogenesis. It's also integrated right into the prep phase of both fat loss and the muscle building programs because we want you to progress faster and the health of your mitochondria is part of how we do it. We were talking a lot about free radicals but we are yet to disclose one important fact and you're not going to like it. The biggest source of free radicals is not from the food that you eat. It's not from your Wi-Fi. It's not from the sun. It's not from how much you smoke either. Although these things all do matter. The biggest source of free radicals is the mitochondria itself. The mitochondria uses a series of reactions called the electron transport chain to produce ATP. A total of one to 3% of the electrons in the chain leak, creating free radicals. Reacting with oxygen to create reactive oxygen species and start their campaign of damage and aging. The longer you live on this planet, the more energy you require. And the more exercise you do, the more energy you require. It's hard work. The more energy you require, the more ATP you produce and the more electrons leak, creating free radicals. What a mess. One of the primary mechanisms in mitochondrial damage is the leak in the transport chain. Just like free radicals can damage DNA, proteins and membranes, they can also steal electrons from the atoms and molecules of the mitochondria itself, thereby damaging it. And just when you thought all was lost, like it was all doom and gloom, we have one more surprise to cheer you up. A powerful antioxidant coenzyme Q10, or CoQ10. CoQ10 lives inside your mitochondria, and it's the first line of defense against free radicals. Higher CoQ10 levels in every mitochondria means less free radicals escaping, although inevitably some will get through. Higher antioxidant levels gives you a greater chance to neutralize those free radicals before any serious damage is done. Whether it's from all the vitamin C you've been taking, or whether you've pushed ionized air and water into every cell of your body, there are many things you can do to improve CoQ10 and antioxidants, as well as reducing free radicals in the first place. Every step you take contributes to slowing the aging process. We hope we made this complex subject a little bit easier to digest. That's it for this short video. We hope you feel a bit more inspired and if you liked it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel and ring the little bell for more great content like this. We have two more videos for you in this series, this time dealing with our movement first approach and post-program maintenance strategies. So make sure you don't miss them. Hey, Grandpa. When you age, life gets more difficult. Back in my day, I could build muscle and lose fat in no time. Once you pass your teenage years, it becomes difficult to do these things. 
those darn teenagers. Will you be quiet? You see, teenagers are quite similar to free radicals. Running free, causing havoc and damage to anything they come into contact with. Raising your stress levels, and that's not good for your blood pressure! Where am I? Oh yeah, in the next video we're going to talk about movement and how anyone can move better regardless if they're a young feet man or an old git like me. And until next time, bye! Melody, please, that's enough about your dump cramps. Now go change your neckers. Melody, Oi. the Frenchie's got Oi. your clutch back. Come here, you. Give me my bag back. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>